Hello and welcome to this IP integration demonstration video. In this video, we'll be looking at using Salesforce as the user interface in the Genesis cloud. This means that we will be using Salesforce as the front end and we'll be using our APIs to connect our telephone or soft phone to the Genesis cloud. So to start, I'm going to log into my Salesforce. I'm using a sandbox here, uh, put in my username and password and I'll log into sandbox. Just to note that I've already pre-installed the lightning uh, Genesis Cloud Salesforce soft phone. So that's already been installed. And you'll see that down at the bottom now on the screen saying Genesis soft phone. So once I go into my Genesis soft phone, you'll see that the, the soft phone appears. I've got menu or hamburger menu. And if I click on there, it's got all the things that I can do. So I've got my interactions. I've got an interaction log. And this is where I can put any notes, whether they're social media or not, onto say, Salesforce. I've got an agent performance and this shows all of the different things such as answered, um, average time, average hold time, so on and so forth, how many I've transferred. And this is for all contact types, as you can see on the screen. Moving on from there, I've got my user inbox and this is my, my mailbox, my voicemails and so on and so forth. I've got my agent schedule and this is part of WFN, which shows when I'm on break, when I'm supposed to be on queue, off queue. And if I go to more, I've got queue activation. Queue activation, I can either activate or deactivate myself into queues or out of the queues. However, this is dependent on whether or not I've got that role and that permission assigned to me as a user. So from here, I can then go and look in the menu. I go to more and now I've got my settings. My settings, I can do things such as call forwarding. I can look at the notifications, how I want to be notified. I can go to the queue and look at the queue uh, settings that I've got. And then finally, WebRTC. So for WebRTC, I can choose both my microphone and the speakers that I'm going to be using. And once I'm happy, I can come out of there and go back to the menu. And I can now go to Genesis Cloud itself by clicking on the button Genesis Cloud. And this will open up the user interface into Genesis Cloud as well. So it's a quick way of getting into Genesis if I'm in my Salesforce. And that will now load up as you can see on the screen. However, we go back to Salesforce as that's what we're looking at. Now the agent has all the controls that you would expect. They can go available, on queue, busy, and they can also log out of the Genesis if they need to. They've also got all call controls, so they can put the call on hold, mute, disconnect, as you would expect. We minimize it. We don't have to, but we can also minimize it. And now when a call comes in, you'll see straight away Genesis soft phone comes up, but so does the Salesforce contact. So we can see the contacts for Miss Zoe Smith has come up because that's the information that's coming through and that's the person calling. Now from here, I've got my interaction log, I've got my wrap up code and I've got my script. So if I click on the script, you'll see that it's now starting to load up. And once it loads up, you'll be able to see the Genesis script that we're running in the background. So this is what you would normally expect to see if you were running um, the Genesis UI. We have the buttons that are available to the agent and these all still work as you can see. And I'm also using my pausable app, the IP integration pausable app. So as you can see, the pausable app also still works with those buttons as well. So just because I'm in Salesforce, I can still use my pausable and it will still work. And this can be configured again uh, for any page inside um, or any trigger inside Salesforce. And now looking at the interaction logs, the agents can make any notes here. Uh, this can be also for any contact type. So whether it's voice, whether it's messenger, or email, they can still put in interaction logs into Salesforce itself. So here I've got the agent saying that the customer called in to request a copy of their boarding pass and that they have supplied this to them via email. This automatically saves to Salesforce as well. So we just move on from there. We can go back to the interaction. So we go to the menu, interaction, and now you can see the interactions there. Now I just disconnect that interaction because I've finished with my customer. I get asked for the wrap up code as you would expect. I select my wrap up code and now I click done. And that's it. So now that particular interaction is now cleared. And if I go to my uh, contacts, you can see here that I've got the contact from 1220. I click on it and you'll see the comments that I've made in that interaction log as shown on screen. Go back to Zoe Smith. And you can also see that it's not just the calls, it's emails, it's Twitter, any contact type that's come in 
it's not only logged, but you can also put comments against that contact type. So now let's look at this UI hold or handling multiple contacts. So here we've got not only a voice call, we've got a Twitter, we've got a Facebook, we've got an email, and we've also got a web chat. So you can see all of the different contact types inside the soft phone. I can actually pop the soft phone out, as you can see now on screen. And this allows the agent to not only move the soft phone to where they want on their screen, but it could also allow them to have this overlaid on any, any particular screens that they're working on. Again, if we now wanted to go and reply to our Twitter, we just click on Zoe Smith, which is talking to us via Twitter. I've got my interaction log, I've got wrap up code. And if I click on Twitter DM, you'll now see that Genesis loads up again. And once it's loaded, I've got all my interaction types there and I can start chatting to the customers via this screen. I could do that for both Facebook, I've got my phone call, I've got my email, and I've got my web chat. I've got cam responses available to me and the scripts again. And that's the end of this video. As always, if you have any questions or you would like a live demonstration of what you've seen today, please do not hesitate to contact IP Integration. Thanks for watching.